Hello, everyone, and welcome back to BR Summer Camp. Um, I'm Casey, here with... See you, extra. Yeah, and w what we have for you now is a fun little undernight exhibition, right? It's going to be, I think, a first of five between Aust and CG. Probably the first of seven? Is it a first of seven? First of seven? Okay, so. cool. Yeah. Um, two of our you know local players, they play all the time, right? Yeah. Uh, you know. Probably, Both two, probably two of the strongest in the region, I'd say, just from like those perspective yeah. factors. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Aust getting fourth today, CG actually taking the yeah. uh, the overall undernight tournament today, yep. right? Uh, with good wins over Klim, right? That was a really fun set, right? Yeah. You yourself actually beating Aust today in the, in that same bracket, <laughs> yeah. so. Actually, I got destroyed by him in locals. <laughs> 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 That's what he was telling me. He was like, yeah, he was like, you know, Rickshaw and I was not really going very even, and then, you know, yeah, it was like you, you pulled through and it counted. I today. lost. I won like one game, I think, out of like fifteen or so games we played. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's but, how it goes sometimes. But you won when it, you won when it counted. And that's yep, all that matters. Yep. But uh, you know, these two have played each other a lot, so they they're very aware of sort of how each other plays, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Aust, obviously, uh, a Merkava player in CG and in Kidu. Yeah. Um, it's kind of an interesting matchup, right? I think uh, Inkidu actually has some pretty good tools to help police the uh, the air Merkava, but yeah. at the same time, Merc is pretty good at being lame and sort of zoning out, even with just grounded buttons, right? Yeah. Um, it's one of those matchups where, you know, like any zona matchup, basically, you're going to have a hard time getting a, a Merc because he can yeah. just tap, tap 5B or 5C or 214X and just mm -hmm. keep you all the way on the other side of the screen. And unfortunately for CG, right, like, uh, in Kitty 3C is only projectile invuln, right? So you yeah. can't, it's not really actually that useful in this matchup. Yeah. It's got Th some use, but does it not, not a ton. Does not 214X? Uh, no. Oh, wow. That does suck. No, you get okay, grabbed. That's hard. You, you get grabbed because it's uh, it's not projectile. Right, it's a grab. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a hit grab object thing because he doesn't have a hurt box on it either. Yeah, not until a couple yet thing. No, two and four doesn't have a, hit bo a hurt box at all. Five C is like uh, one what halfway down the on? arm. I could swear it has a No, Merc two and four is broken. Okay, well, I can't have the, <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have the hurt boxes anyway. I just have the hit boxes it, on it's, the uh, wiki, so. it, It's broken broken, so. Yeah, it is, it is. But he needs it. Does he? <laughs> Does he need it? I mean, I'm a, I, to be fair, I'm a known Merkava hater, yeah. so like. I mean, I play, I sub Merc, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know uh, it's been a long day for uh, for both of these players, right? Yeah. CG entering uh, multiple brackets, Aust also entering multiple brackets, right? Yeah, both of them. I think they were both Street Fighter and Strive, right? I don't think CG entered Strive. Oh no, just we Street Fighter. Aust okay. definitely entered uh, Strive. Right. I don't know if Aust entered. Uh, Street Fighter. I don't know. I suspect he probably did, just because he's he's been playing it some. Yeah. Has been kind of enjoying it. Uh, I, I think CG probably did enter Street Fighter. Um, that could have been called for matches, so I think he'd definitely playing yeah. somewhat. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember because I was talking to CG about how about how he did in Street Fighter, and he said, uh, "Yeah, I didn't play super well, and yeah. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that." I'm not just burnt out from the uni bracket. I'm yeah. hoping it was just I wasn't playing well in Street Fighter and that yeah. going into this exhibition, it's not that big a deal. But all right, players are setting their buttons. But you mean you won the uni bracket, so I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a victory. That's already a massive yeah. W, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, getting all right, probably Jimmy getting right into it. I thought we were going to see a button check. They figured it's to that. Here we go. Uh, oh, this okay, we are seeing a button okay. check. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. This is a button check. <laughs> Come on, Aust. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these two uh, friends, right, play a lot. So I think this would be a pretty fun exhibition. I think it'll be interesting because obviously they're not starting on layer one; they're starting on like layer four thousand. Yeah. Right, like. CG was telling me, oh yeah, they specific, the two of them specifically tried not to play recently to not... To, to make it yeah. a little bit more interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The open grind is, as I understand, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice parry on the 3C. Oh. Green shield bait, but parry after, not recognizing the green shield actually coming out. Oh, Oh, nice. 4C, Havoc, counter hit, baby. Well, drops combo, combo jumper guy in full oh. effect. Oh, it's a dive kick. Oh. It's gonna hurt. Basically corner to corner. Yep. 
can like, can that grid there of the ender. <laughs> a projectile in its own right in Kido 2 c is pretty massive. Kido 2 c is truly a button. Nice, uh, nice backdash on that to recognizing that, you know, Oss is probably going to forward tech. Uh, good old 2 p 6 c Doesn't get the combo, though. Yeah. Nice block on the flight, Oki. Good math of CD there. Whoa. All right, Jay with. Doesn't get baited, though. And it looks like CG's probably going to win this cycle. Yep. No, actually, uh, that, uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong bar. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Getting a hit there, just Double off kicks. Oh, nope. Drops the combo. That's a very strange hit. Yeah. I don't think Austin's ready for that to drop. No, I don't think so. Oh. Four C attempt. I respect it. Got hit by four C there. And See just going to hit instead. Two D six C for the corner carry probably. Well, yep. Oh, nice. I like that. You know, that's like uh, I think both these characters are six framers, right? And yeah. uh, it beats out throw, so it's, it's pretty good. I like that option. Yeah. And this is death for sure, unless uh, combo dropper guy is here. Doesn't look like it. And there we go. All right. CG taking game one. No time, just going right back into it. It is a first of seven, so you know. You know, got plenty of games to adjust. You don't necessarily need to be icing out on the first game. Nah. Corner combo. Yeah. Set the single worm. Oh, quick play. Yeah. Well. That's a really common situation, right? You you want to shield the worm, but Merkava actually has time to grid break you before the worm actually goes off. Yeah. Drops the rest of the combo for the EX boys, though, so will not only lose his 50-50, but is now in the corner. He's got what a masher. He's got 100 Vegito in CS, though, so he can finish this easily if he doesn't drop. Oh, he's even Debito. Nice. That was a mash from Oss right there. <laughs> Pretty standard pressure here. Ooh, good parry. The read. Does he play the minigame? He does oh, not play it correctly. Dropping the combo. Yeah, recognizing that, you know, not actually going to pull in Merc at that range, right? Because yeah. there's no hurt box. Yeah. So, oh, that's pretty sick combo. Did no damage, but a nice little side swap. Parry read attempt. Oh, 4B <laughs> taking it CG down. It's yeah, 4B goes to the sky. It's, it's huge. It truly is. The zoomer throw tech. Good pressure here for CG. Oh. Mini game part two, fails nope. it again. And fails it in the worst oh. possible way because, uh, you know, normally it's minus, but with that green shield, it's actually like plus 12. Yeah. Oh. The X one's down. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oscar can just play the lame game. The worms are down. 19 seconds left. Yep. Huge life lead. CG had to move in to make something happen. He had no choice. Yeah. And they actually needed two hits, too. 19 seconds left is pretty rough. Yeah. Either needs two hits or one really nice hit. Yeah, like a really good starter. Not getting baited by the assault. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. down. Oh. Nice mash. Very good. Side swap combo. Yeah, I mean, you know. See, I see a meter. Yep. See the red flash. It's, you know, the only logical thing to do. That's the worst thing to mash on. That's a huge starter yeah. for Merc. Yeah. The X1's down, too. That's going to do some big damage. It's so much damage. Oh. And he gets a 50-50. Got the life lead now. Oh, see if he gets a hit. Oh, that was almost Drops sick. I, I think that was a little bit too far. It was like a weird height hit. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to see Osh just play pretty lame here for the most part. Yeah, just keep CG out. Doesn't keep on the... He just one hit. Yep, yeah, there it is. And there it is. 
I understand the 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 want to two C there, right? You know, you can you can probably two C and then like CS or something, but yeah. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate thing about Inky 3 C right there, right? You would think yep. maybe it's useful for some of those interactions, but, yeah, but no. not in actuality without CS, I actually don't think it's very good yeah. here. Since Mookie just gives so many boosts, make him Skywood, and 3C is just hit so much harder to land. It's just gonna whiff, yeah. yeah. Off is content to hang back and pull Wilms and Fireballs now. I think, he, I think CG. Oh, nice oh, here FF. We go. Oh, doesn't oh. get the full starter though. All smashing, mashing on wake up, so it doesn't matter. Yo strip. Nice. Oh, got a hit. The partial charge, low 2A. CG cashes out. Yep, here yeah, we go. Not That's dead, damage. but couldn't have killed from that combo. Needed a little bit something chunkier than a 2A. Just one hit and he can get it finished though. Oh, you can do that. There you go. Yeah, I think even a throw would have done it. Maybe? Oh, man. <laughs> Round Star Rekka, huh? That's how you're feeling. I like that recognition. CG recognizing that, oh, man, I messed up. So yeah. let's just, like, do a proper meaty. Yes, Ooh, and that's nice. something that's really good, right? At those fireball heights, yeah. uh, Enkidu is safe after parrying that. Also can't really do anything. So just give CG an easy as in that. Yeah, CG gets to just kind of run in for free. Nice. Oh, not a good protest. Also has free they all active, but in the corner. Oh, there's a flow. But this is still pretty rough, right? Yeah. Whoa. Not falling for the prank. And I like the use of 2-2-C there from CG to actually clear the worms out. Yes, very smart. Good block. Oh. Mostly correct read with that parry there, but just mistimed it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe expected the immediate button. No, it might have been, yeah. Oh, I still have to cycle here. Oh, <laughs> off. Here we go. CG was spooked. But CG taking uh, game three here, up 2 1. Not a safe theme. <laughs> Also is playing a dangerous game with going up this high, right? Yeah. He's like he has much reach, but I mean, does well, parries are give him a lot of ways to mitigate whatever so off the CG to keep him out. I mean, CG can also do like a dash FF, right? That too, yeah, but... Does that have... I feel like that could maybe be part of the fireball depending on when it gets active. It depends. It, it just depends a little bit on yeah. what Aus is doing, but yeah. if, if he's just trying to high flight, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's sort of a little scary, right? Yeah, yeah. Aus not taking any chances. Got out of the corner, but still have a life deficit. Does have a uh, CS and a bunch of meter. I kind of wish he had spent meter for a reset there instead of uh, CS. Yeah. I think already having 200 and spending the CS kind of feels bad, but... Oh. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? Because nope. 30 seconds left in a massive life deficit, Aus needed to do something. Yeah. Just does it again. <laughs> and it does it again! <laughs> Good old 4C. Nothing beats it. Spend it, yep. Yeah. Backdash. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. Didn't, doesn't recognize the purple shield. Take out the corner here. Okay. <laughs> With nope, a yeah. Oh. yeah, that'll do there it. Doesn't get the full combo though. Ooh, oh no. This is a scramble. Yeah. CG's not dead, but we'll have to uh, deal with the boys. Yep. And Aust has CS22. No. Oh. Oh. That was a. That was funny. 5C hookbox pun. He, he like got <laughs> suctioned into it though. He got suctioned into the actual the strike. 5C has an extended hookbox, I think. A little ways pat. Yeah, like, I think you're right. That was that was funny though. <laughs> yeah, it's too emo. I've never Just seen watching uh, Merc teleport into, <laughs> into Kidu's arms. Now he knows what it feels like. Okay. Oh, that was almost so oh. sick. Yes, oh, nice yep. FF. That's what I mean there, right? Yeah. It's an exceptional anti if you're white in a position for it. Oh. Oh, Minigame part four. Fails it yet again. Yeah, he's green shielding now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at this point, if you're CG, you probably stop trying, and you just take the minus three, right? Yeah. 
Well, at that point, just shield early to try and get in the grid. Yeah, please. exactly. Instead of, like, green shielding right there and being like, oh, well, now now my opponent's plus it's, 12, yeah, so... Yeah, now he the advantage, so he can, you know... Smashing out here. Won't win the cycle. Is this dead? No. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think so. Yeah, Not quite. Plus frames? Yeah. Yep. All right, CG going up three to one. All taking a second to think here. You know, probably a good idea, yeah. right, at this point. You used two games of the world, you got to sit back and think what you intended to adjust. Lloyd. Going right back into it. All right. Ooh. Oh, the up kicks, but not counter hit, so it doesn't actually really get very much off of it. Yeah, but it's a start. Basically telling us, hey, you know, don't uh, don't go in the sky. Yeah. Nice shield. Stare down. Uh. Okay. Good punch and a die kick. I couldn't tell if we were having a uni moment or if something else was happening. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, hmm. I can't see the players, so I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, sees yep. the red flash. Yeah. Expected. Yeah. Nos has CS and Hanamito, that's usually what he's going to go for. Patience. Right. Good <laughs> that was clever. I think he was... Uh, I don't really know exactly what CG was hoping Lost would do. I don't know. Oh, oh, that's that's, that's a chunky hit. That's gonna hurt. Counter hit 5B is pretty nice. Spend it. Back dash. He just got the cycle. Another throw. Aus is free of throws. Oh, doesn't recognize that shield on the redash. Unfortunate for CG. Yeah, I got the side swap there. I'm sending the EX limbs down. Oh. Okay, that was almost six. CG wanted to dash FF, but the yeah. worm caught him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. And now he's going to have to hold the worms yet again. Oh, none of Oz drops a combo. One hit's going to do him in, though. Oh, same goes for Ost. Yes. And that'll do it. That was such a good uh, recognition from CG on, like, he knows he can't go for the regular combo because yeah. of how far away Ost is. Yeah. So I, I like spending the meter there. Yeah. I think it was necessary. If you can get the kill, just, you know, Yeah. Go for it. Especially with how, like, easy it is to get meter in this game. Yeah, definitely. And look at that, the worm saving Aus life by eating all the active frames of Enkidu's 2A. Yep. Oh. That was a really nice dash block out of the corner by CG. And there's Reversal once again. Going for the corner, oh, drops are loud. Yeah, I mean, that combo is like, I think, decently difficult. Yeah. And I, I don't know that Aus has really been grinding, grinding, so he, he's probably pretty prone to dropping he's it. He's pretty consistent at hating it. It's just really tricky to land, I think. Because, like, a lot of specific delays, I think, on before you get the, after the, the air sequence, I think. Hmm. That's a nasty route from CG there. Oh, drops oh. it. Oh. Off is kicking out. Send a boom. I like that bait of uh, trying to hope that Ooh. CG goes for the FF, but Got it doesn't it. quite work out. And there's 15 it. seconds left. Actually, this is pretty rough for us. Yeah. He's got the cycle now and still 100 meter on deck. Oh, oh my wow. god. Instant dive kick coming in to us. Oh. Us is like, I bet you're going to try and throw me, but CG <laughs> was going for like a really delayed uh, overhead charge. I think potentially hoping to actually trade with the 236C. Probably. Because if you use something active enough, you yeah. will trade. Yeah, because it's all the... 236C is only in the ball on, like, startup, I think. Or a little it's active. A, it's, a, it's like for the first 11 frames, and then once it becomes active, yeah. Yeah. it's no longer in ball. Yeah. Nice green shield bait. Oh. Ah, good math. So Merc 2A uh, anti air One of his many anti airs. Oh, grid break. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it gets rid of the scaling, right? Yeah. Probably not quite dead, but very close. Oh, oh he's gonna go, go for it. Nice. Whoa. 
I actually did not know that he could get another extension after the 2 yeah, 6 c Yeah, I thought he, that was it. I didn't know he had a, a ground pound still. But CG, you know, he knows those things. He, he is he's, he's definitely the combo guy. Yeah. Nice smash from Aust. Oh, good tech. Ooh, that was tricky. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I think CG was doing something, so, like, the F FF wasn't really possible. Yeah. But that would have been a prime spot to FF at. Okay, yeah, I like that. You know, sort of guessing that CG would maybe want to go for throw or go for the JA again, right? Yeah. Because he's sort of shown that multiple times. So doing the uh, doing the 3C to get out. Is that worth it? I don't think so. Like, I understand you kind of want the cycle, but even doing that, the cycle is still really close. And also, like, his health is way low, so, like, you win the cycle, but you're yeah, I mean, spending all your meter to get it. Then. And it's also, like, Aus can still gamble 2 3 6 C even yeah. without CS, and it's still, like, an okay gamble. Yeah. If Aus didn't have meter that would be better position for CG, then, because Aus would have to hold the C's offense. Hold everything, right? Yeah. yeah. We need to see more throws from CG on off now. Okay, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Who'd you talking? Yeah. Oh, that's not what you want to get hit by. CG taking another game. Boss <laughs> <laughs> is not thinking. I already know that. Boss yeah. is not thinking anything. They're just having fun at this point, probably. <laughs> no shot does he do. What dash up, dive kick. up kicks like God. four okay. times in a row. Grid break. With the worm, extra health. A little bit more damage. The X worm's down now. Blocks the mix. Oh. Oh. Wow, that 2A reach. Yeah. This is side swap. Good match out. It should be death. Yep, there it is. Not even close. I knew the whole time. I feel like Oss is pretty good about knowing when to try and mash on CD's pressure when he's cornered. You know, all those two ways have been pretty consistent. Yeah, it is true. I do think, though, that uh, CG should probably be presenting throw a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, just because, like, Austin's not really doing anything, right? Like, he's waiting for slightly larger gaps to mash on. Wow, that was really weird looking. Yeah, that was bizarre. That was pretty funny. Yeah. It could just kill. Oh, he's got CD. Yeah, CD. Yep. The noodle arms. Yep. That's what, second highest damage in I W in the game? It's pretty, it's pretty high damage. Okay, he didn't do dash up up kicks again, so I'm pretty happy. But you know, Havoc trades, it's uh, not what you want if you're Merc. Yeah, you gotta be very careful about that. You do not want to trade if he do. Yeah, nice throw. Good. I like that delay tech from Aust there, right? Avoiding the, the TTB meaty. Yeah. Oh, drops. Yeah, drops it. Combo dropper guy. <laughs> oh. That's that's not invul. It's not? EX up kicks is not invul, I'm pretty sure. Maybe maybe it is, maybe it is. Maybe I'm maybe I'm lying. Maybe it has like a, a flame or two start up on it? I, I don't I don't remember. I, I I'm I was pretty sure it's not, but I could be wrong. Mm. Oh, catches the OS. This is gonna hurt. That was a counter hit. Doesn't spend. I kind of agree with that. Yeah. Spending on Enkidu kind of messes your Oki up a little bit, right? Because you're forced to backdash, and it gives up a little bit more grid than you'd probably want, right? 2 6 c is his meter end if he wants you to, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just parries the... Uh, oh, no. He was feeling himself, and he was like, Oss is going to wake up 2 3 6 c so I'm just going to run up parry. Yeah. But... That's definitely a CG move, is to is to feel yourself and just be like, I'm gonna do something funny. 
He does like to one up and just do stuff sometimes. Like just one up, like deep dash into five A or something. Yeah. But yes. Like it looks that way. Oh my like god! Nash. There it is. Yeah, dash up, up. It doesn't even net him anything. Yeah. Double up kicks in the corner. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, 3.6, not bad. Ooh, we'll give oh. up the cycle from that 5A. Good flow. Oh. Whiff throws plus even on even offline. It's yep. <laughs> wow. Let's do it again. Asta not passing the reaction check. Will we see the boys? Double drop. Nope. That's at least one of the safe ones for Merc. Yeah. There are definitely oh. some combo drops that are not. Ooh. Oh. It's not what you like to see. Oh, but the combo drop. I like that no cancel. Yeah, also doing a really good job here also with um with delay teching, right? Yeah. Uh CG going for a lot of the 2 2B media and Osha's like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's like I'll just delay tech and mash. It's yeah. fine. I mean, if, he, if the TDP misses, it means he doesn't get his plus frames and, you know, he doesn't get his attack either. So he get a good opportunity to just kind of attack with that's for Nash or for Bustle or whatever. CG going up 6-3 to three here. You know, Oss has to do a little bit of thinking. Yeah, he's got to put some look if he wants to turn this around. CG just sitting there pretending to think. <laughs> yeah, he's, he heard that. I know he did. <laughs> Austin, my deal is still on. Don't worry. What was the deal? I told Austin if he threw, I would pay for his club entrance. <laughs> oh, no. Now, uh, down. Ooh. Oh, no. That Actually, I think the worm actually counter hit. I don't know I what that so. does to the starter. It no looks clue. like nothing bad. No. Oh, 4B counter hit with all the worms. Os <laughs> probably has these, right? Yeah, there we oh, Not quite oh, enough almost. to kill. But that's a lot of but damage. That's a huge life lead now. Up all right. CG can get in still. Here we go. Oh my god, that route is sick. Yeah, it's not over. Oh, good tech. Oh, yeah. side kick. But Aust will get the next cycle. You are so cringe. But in PD will just parry it instead. Plus frames, yeah. That's the round. And, you know, even even with that early work Aust put into that round, it you just, know, yeah, it's it crumbled. Just, yep. That's what happens you play with players at this level. They can just turn it around in a clutch. In, in the second, yeah. It's, it's just one like. shot. That's all they need. All CG needed was like three hits, and it was like, all right, it's fine. Yeah. We're good here. Yep. Now he's going to be in the corner, though. Oss is asleep. The Bustle got most of the meter back. I like that recognition from Oss, knowing that uh, he actually messed up the combo. So. Oh, doesn't recognize that green shield. Could have grid broken there. Yeah. Oss just got to take it around now. Oss staying alive, you know. Yeah. If he loses one more round here, he, he, he loses. Yeah, he do, CG's got this, but Oss is put up a fight now, at least. Set the boys. Yep. Oh, what Wake up, C Perry. I was oh, no. Do, I was expecting Oss to do, like, the flight OP there instead, but... I think it's kind of hard against Sinkidu specifically because it's uh, his reversal's a parry. Right. Uh, so things like safe jumps don't really work very well on it. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Got screen shield, so he missed a chance to punish PC. And yeah, not quite dead, but. This is gonna hurt still. I think uh, one more hit will do it. Yeah. A throw? Oh. Probably not, unless it's grid break. Oh, wow. But that will certainly do it. And Good CG counter. taking it 7 to 3 against uh, Oz. Oh, all right. Good stuff, CG.
<laughs> I mean, the two of them obviously having fun. They're friends out there, right? You yep. know. Advantage of putting those two planes so much together, they just know they know each other's habits so well. At this yeah. Point, they could just goof off and have a good set anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, uh, you know, thank you guys for joining us here at uh, at summer camp for this uh, Uniclear exhibition, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun watching Austin CG is always fun, in my opinion at least. Yeah, they're always a delight to watch. Yeah. So I think this is the, the last thing that's on the stream, right? Alright, All right. well I think uh, it sounds like we're gonna be rating the uh, the current Street Fighter top eight that's happening on the uh, the other channel for bonus rounds. So All right. you know. Stick around to watch, catch that then. Be sure to check that out. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, shout out to uh, Tempest Stream Productions for for running the stream. You know, I think uh, Strive Top Eight was on here, right? This exhibition was on here, uh, and I think some other stuff was also on here as well. Uh, so yeah.